Hi, I'm Pete Myers. I'd like to introduce you to four short video clips that demonstrate the features of Birdseye, the iPhone birding app that helps you have more fun birding because you can find more birds. You can find the birds you want to see using data from the Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology's eBird program. After you've watched these four videos, you'll be ready to pick up your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch and start planning your next great birding expedition, whether it's somewhere right around your home or all the way across the continent. This is the bird's eye home screen. It gives you seven different choices about things you can do with bird's eye. You can find nearby birds. You can look for notable sightings and rare birds. You can locate a bird. You can view birding hotspots. You can select your birding location. You can update your life list and you can learn about bird's eye. We're going to work you through each of these opportunities uh, in these short videos. We're going to begin with select birding location. So let's tap on select birding location. You can see on this screen you have the opportunity to enter city, state, or zip. You can also choose from favorites that you've identified from past use. And you can also look at recent places that you visited. Let me show you how to use city and state. Here we're going to enter McAllen. Texas, USA. All we do now is tap done. And you can see from the screen here that we're located in McAllen, Texas. So let's find out what birds, eBirders, have been finding nearby McAllen. Tap find nearby birds. And there you can see on the screen that eBirders have seen 381 species in the last three years. They've identified 226 species in the last 30 days. And there are 29 species that are probably going to be pretty interesting because they are either new species for you, they're not on your life list, or they're notable birds or rare birds. The first thing to note is that you can scroll up and down this display to see the variety of species that have been reported in the McAllen area over the last couple of weeks. You can also use the small icons along the right side of the display to jump between different family groups. That's not particularly important when you're only looking at 29 species, but if you go back to the 226 recent sightings, you can see that the ability to jump uh, actually helps considerably in getting to just the species that you want to check. One thing to note here, you'll see beside green-tailed towhee a binocular icon also with spotted towhee. That denotes notable observations or rare species. So let's select a species to check out. I'm going to use the icons along the right to move to raptors and then scroll down. We could look at Harris's hawk or white-tailed hawk or zone-tailed hawk. Let's look at zone-tailed hawk. So I'm going to tap on that and you'll see that we're building a map. We've just pulled in data from eBird showing where in the valley along the Rio Grande eBirders have reported zone-tailed hawks over the last 30 days. I'd like you to take a look at the three icons along the bottom of the screen. We're on the map display right now, so the map icon is highlighted. In the center is the list icon that shows you a list of hotspots and locations where zone-tailed hawks have been seen in the area, including the times when how long ago it was seen. And finally, there's the bird silhouette that takes you to photographs and also text that Ken Kaufman, one of the world's leading birding authorities, has written that's designed to help you find the bird in the location where the bird's been reported. So two more icons have appeared at the bottom of the screen now. One is a sound icon, so if you tap on the sound button, you'll hear the call of the zone-tailed hawk.
we have recordings from the Macaulay Library of Sound at Cor the Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology from almost every species in the bird's eye app. I'll hit done. And then you'll note also that there's a green check in the bottom left of the screen. That means that this bird is on my life list. So now let's go back to the map. I'm going to hit the map icon. I want to show you one last feature of this part of the app. So if I tap on one of the locations, a flag pops up and you'll see along the left there's an arrow. If you tap that arrow, it'll ask you if you want directions. Let's get directions. Remember we're located in McAllen, Texas. The map app pops up. We get directions to drive 65 miles from McAllen to the hotspot where the hawk was seen. So let's flip back to bird's eye, back to the map in bird's eye, and you see in the upper right is a home icon. This icon can be found in almost every page of bird's eye, every view. If you tap on that, you get taken back to the home page. This brings us to the end of the first video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you're excited at the prospects of using bird's eye to help you find more birds and have more fun birding. I also hope that you'll take the time to look at the next three introductory videos. Please stay tuned. Over time, we'll be producing a steady stream of videos to help you get more out of bird's eye, to find more birds, and to have a great time birding.